Yo, what's up guys? Back at you with another one on today. This is Noble Sports Entertainment. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Do not miss an upload on this channel because we talk sports, period. We're going to get into the game recap week three, Detroit Lions versus the Arizona Cardinals. So let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, guys, we're going to go behind enemy lines on today and talk about this game on today. The Arizona Cardinals facing the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions come into the desert and get a win on today the final score was 26 to 23 and uh the lions end up winning by a 39 yard field goal by matt prater but the story of this game had to be turnovers today kyler murray just absolutely just turned the ball over today he almost had four interceptions uh on today but he ended up walking away with three of them uh, luckily deron Harmon ended up dropping the ball but if he did not drop the ball, Kyler Murray would have threw four picks. And uh, surprisingly, Matthew Stafford did not throw an interception at all. Matthew Stafford was 22 out of 31 for 270 yards and two touchdown passes. And also, Adrian Peterson had a solid game out of the backfield for the Lions. He had 22 carries uh, for 75 yards. Uh, Kenny Galladay definitely gave the team a huge boost on today. We know when Kenny Galladay is out there, the team is going to perform and play better. And that's what the receivers did. They played, they played well and they performed well. And Kenny Galladay came back to have a uh, have uh, six receptions, 57 yards, and he had a touchdown as well, giving the team a little hope out there uh, because their number one guy was not there for the last two weeks. But uh, Kyler Murray was 20, 23 out of 35 for 270 yards and two touchdowns in the air and also throwing three interceptions that pretty much came back to hunt Kyler Murray. This time, the Lions said they were not going to walk away with a tie. They were determined to win this game and they ended up winning this game. A lot of people thought that the Arizona Cardinals would walk away 3-0, and but that did not happen on today. Also, King and Drake had 18 carries for 73 yards and DeAndre Hopkins had 10 catches for 137 yards. So the Lions, man, definitely, man. Shout out to the Lions for playing tremendously well. The rookie Jeff Okuda looking better out there last week. He had to go against uh, one of the best receivers in the league and Devontae Adams. And he pretty much uh, learned his lesson quick. But uh, in this game, you know, he's going against one, uh, if not the best receiver in the game, one of the best receivers in the game in DeAndre Hopkins, who pretty much still had his way. He had 10 receptions for 137 yards in this game. But Jeff Okuda definitely made some key plays, some key stops, some key tackles. And he also had his first career interception in this football game. So the Lions got a lot of contribution, man, from a lot of guys in this game. Guys were stepping up, making plays, and getting in there. Uh, uh, Romeo Okora was able to get to the quarterback on today and get a sack. Lions were able to put pressure. It looks like the Lions came out in a 4-3 defense, which was really a little bit different and from what the Lions normally do. They normally come out in a 3-4 base. But this time they came out in a 4-3 and they wanted to do something different to set the tone in a different direction. But shout out to the Detroit Lions for finally getting the win on the season. Uh, Coach Matt Patricia was definitely on the hot seat and he still is on the hot seat. Just because he won this game, that doesn't mean that it's not going to be a long season. So he has to find out and figure out ways how to continue to win football games in Detroit. That's going to be the number one thing for Matt Patricia is to continue to win. It's not just getting a win one week and thinking everything is cool and start sipping the Kool-Aid again. If you're a Detroit Lion fan, you want to see uh, consistency. You want to see Matt Patricia get these guys over the hump and get these guys to the next level. But uh, definitely on um, Kyler Murray on today. This was on Kyler Murray. He just uh, he threw some critical uh, passes, man, that were intercepted. And it pretty much uh, definitely came back to hunt this team in this game. And they just could not... Uh, Stop the flow of the Lions offense on today. The Lions were catching a lot of balls. TJ Hawkinson was looking good out there. Jesse James played well. He missed. He, he could have probably had a two touchdown day. Definitely a huge day for um, Andy Isabella stepping in for uh, Christian Kurt. Andy Isabella walking away with two scores on today. Definitely he was looking good out there. And uh, DeAndre Hopkins, who has been box office all season for the Cardinals, um, definitely was doing his thing. Uh, they probably could have got the ball to Fitzgerald a little bit more in this game, but they didn't. Uh, the tight end, uh, Arnold, dropped a couple critical passes. And uh, it's just, you know, the turnovers was the key to this game. 
If the Arizona Cardinals wasn't turning the ball over so much, they probably would have walked away and had an opportunity to win this game. But because they did not take care of the football, the Lions were able to do the things that they needed to do. And that was to win this football game, especially with the Lions. They do not uh, close well when it's time to be in the fourth quarter and close the football game out. So the Lions today really, really found a way to close out the football game, which was something that they needed to do. You know, the city of Detroit wanted a win so bad. A lot of people was predicting that they would probably lose this game. And then some people stood with Detroit and said Detroit would win this game. But all right, guys, let me know if you're an Arizona Cardinals fan or Detroit Lions fan. How did you feel about the game? And until next time, I'll be back to you again. Peace.